Round one. Fight! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make some wooden knuckles, basically. This is a quick project you can do in under an hour, and with very minimal tools, the only power tool you will need is a drill, and the only other tool that you really need is a rasp or file and a coping saw. Uh, if you have other tools, obviously this would be even easier, but this is kind of a minimal tools build, so yeah, only power tool you need, like I said, drill some drill bits and the materials you need are also very minimal just means uh, three nails and a scrap of plywood obviously the wrap is optional uh, it just makes it a little more comfortable and grippy and maybe it looks a little better um, but yeah I'll get into showing you how to make it so I'm starting off with this piece of half inch plywood it's about four or five inches lengthwise and three three inches uh, width wise this is just cheap stuff um, you could do it with nicer stuff but this is supposed to be minimal so I'm using the cheap stuff and I've used a drill and I've drilled some holes in through here these are going to allow your coping saw to pass through here the blade you put that through there reattach it to the other end of the of the saw frame as you just saw the circles you want to be in this general pattern and if you're doing it with plywood you want we want to have at least about this much I don't know how that much is a little more than an eighth um, Generally, it should be around a little less than a quarter of an inch uh, in between the holes. And then there should be at least an inch, at least when you start out uh, down here and here. This is where we're going to glue in the pins or slash spikes uh, for the slightly more advanced version. And then this is this basically uh, adds support to your hand, so when you're punching stuff, it kind of rests against your palm right there, and that uh, adds support. And now we're just gonna take it over to the vise, and I'll show you how to string your coping saw through here. So if you already have a coping saw, there's a good chance you already know how to do this, but basically have the blade attached on one end, pass it through the hole, reattach it on the other end, on the other side of the piece, and then cut out the hole. Alright, so once you get all those holes cut out, uh, this is the part where you really start kind of shaping it to fit your hand better. So kind of put your fingers in it, feel where you need to remove material for me. It's right there, you need to move some, move some right there. And then just put it back in the vise and then cut out that little piece with the coping saw or a rasp. But if you're really careful when you do it with a rasp, because if you rasp plywood, it's straight through there. There's almost a guarantee that's going to rip some of the pieces of the back off. So you want to put a chamfer on the edge, um, which is basically putting a 45 degree angle on the edge before you rasp that at like both sides. And then that keeps it from uh, ripping out the stuff on the back or the front. And then you want to do that every time you're rasping through there. But for me, I'm going to do most of it with the coping saw. So once you have it all cut and just rasped and whatever so it feels nice and looks at least decent, unlike mine because I'm using really cheap plywood and it's blowing out a lot because uh, we're very careful. But now you want to use either a rasp or a knife or something to round over the edges and that makes it comfortable, obviously, uh, and it just makes it it just cuts off the corners so they don't dig into your hand and keep doing this much like with making it fit your hand just see where it digs into your hand and remove material there all right so when you have that done and it's really nice and comfortable to hold this is optional but this does help with how long it lasts and how strong it is uh basically it takes some super glue uh if you have some super thin super glue that soaks in that'll be good that'll be perfect but if you have just normal super glue you just soak it into the thinner parts like these these uh, I don't know what these are called, but these inner, the between parts, I don't know what those are called, but you can put a few loops on there, and then that will soak in and strengthen it. Now you want to sort of shape this part, so it kind of fits in your hand nicely, kind of rests on your palm, 
I need to round this side a little bit for me. So I'll round that a little bit and then it will be even more comfortable. And then there's the part where you have two options. One is to cut basically like spikes in the plywood. And then the more advanced option is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trim a little bit off, probably like quarter of an inch, maybe half inch uh, off of this top part. And then I'm going to drill some holes and glue in some nails. So basically I have metal spikes on my knuckles. So the nails I'm gonna be using are a little bit less than an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut off the heads and then use a drill bit to drill a hole into the knuckles. And then I'll be using epoxy to, uh, this glue to glue them in. Uh, you could use super glue or anything. Uh, the only thing is if you're using super glue, you want the drill bit to be slightly smaller than the nail. That way kind of a pressure fit because Super glue doesn't really fill space like epoxy does. So if you're using super glue, just make sure that the drill bit you're using is very slightly smaller diameter than the nail. So now I'm going to drill in the three holes for the, for the nails and you want to be drilling the holes in where, uh, like in between where your knuckles would be. So there are three spaces in between your fingers, the little pieces in between. We want the hole to be going in line with these pieces of wood in there. And now I'm going to super glue the pins in and we're almost done. Let that dry and then I'm going to wipe some linseed oil, some boiled linseed oil on that. This is optional. You could be done at this point. Uh, just maybe round over any other edges or just make sure it feels comfortable in your hand. I'm going to do some wrap on it. I think I'm going to put some grip tape through here kind of like around there a little bit and then we'll see what kind of damage it can do. I also just realized I didn't put linseed oil on it, but it's almost completely wrapped, so it's not a big deal. But now I'm just gonna put the staples on. It just keeps the wrap from getting unwrapped. Also, one thing you don't want to do when you're wrapping it is wrap it too much um, on the inner, like on the inner holes, because then it might make it too small for your fingers to fit through. So you just wanna make sure you still have enough clearance and don't wrap it more than probably like twice.